there are people for instance who have suffered for everything they ever had in life 10 years to finish primary school eight years to finish a four-year course when you teach on favor they look at you and say you are joking let's share the grace you are talking nonsense there if you teach on possibilities they will hear but favor no it has not been captured in my experience the house of god is supposed to be like a threshing floor where you you open up your mindset to to that 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 editing by the spirit of god it says in romans chapter 12 and verse 2 it says and be ye be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind many believers are saved but they cannot move past the gate of salvation because their mindsets do not allow for god to use them the way he intends to use there are many preachers who remain small and they think their smallness is a reflection of god's inability your mindset is like the container that will receive that jar of oil remember the story of the the shunammite woman the problem was never the oil it was that the vessel was small the prophet gave her counsel go and borrow vessel he said borrow not a few you don't need to borrow oil the oil will always look like the vessel carrying it let me challenge someone therefore that this is the year you will go back to buying books buy the truth and sell it not buy there are disciplines you have to give yourself there are videos you must watch if not your eyes will not see sleep discipline yourself tear down some negative pictures in your room that continue to spell evil and war and all of those kinds of things i am very sensitive to atmosphere there are things you will never find around me because there are multitudes that are depending on the decisions that i take and it is my responsibility under god to create the atmosphere that makes creativity and growth possible for me i invest in my atmosphere are you learning you're staying with neighbors that are causing you trouble at the end of this meeting we'll release a grace for you to get out of that place and look for a place where you can you can roll on the floor in peace and serve god and anybody who comes under your roof and doesn't behave well send them away in peace don't don't say oh, the, the bible says no 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 god is not stupid there is a protocol don't bring somebody into your house who does not give you peace the bible says the lord himself will give you peace always by all means there are many believers who continue to trap themselves and they don't create that atmosphere that allows for creativity because they ship all kinds of troublemakers around their lives in the name of relatives in the name of all kinds of people you don't have to fight them let them go in peace if you are under my roof you must serve my god and subscribe to the modus operandi you met you can't bring your rules into my house no are we learning the decision to contend for superior beliefs there are some of you your businesses should not be at that level except that you have not seen further because it is as far as your eyes can see that it is given to you not as far as it is available the one your eye sees is what you are you are you are given make up your mind that this is the year you will expand beyond the limitations of culture beyond the limitations don't say i am from so 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 no if you came from a poor family do not bring a poor family out of you if you came from a weak family do not bring a weak family out of you be the bridge between the old and the new i made up my mind it was a decision that every men mental construct i will need to have to allow me excel at a global level god has done his part by calling me and anointing me and granting me access to the holy spirit there is the labor dimension of faith as a commitment that you believe in what god has called you to do if he has anointed me to speak to kings and to nations and to nobles i must pay the price to build the mental capacity that befits that realm
don't sit down and just wish and hope and wish and hope and wish and hope and then remain mediocre no make up your mind that you will not be in any atmosphere on this earth and feel ashamed no it is a commitment businessman that even if you stand before bill gates you will only be inspired not intimidated no no the difference between you and anybody you admire is number one the level and quality of information they have number two the level of relationships that they have that support that mental transition and then number three the level of increasing upon them everybody you ad you admire you can even surpass if you are willing to make the decision to work on your mind your mind can go where your body is not yet qualified to go your mind does not need a visa your mind can travel with the holy spirit and tap into infinite possibilities i was preparing for ministry when i was in one room don't wait for anybody to come and invite you and bless you from where you are lift up your eyes you don't need a visa to lift up your eyes and now technology has made it easy with the comfort of your phone you can access materials that expand your thinking lay your hands on your head and declare expansion that this year my mind expand expand you are praying my mind expand in the name of jesus expand in ministry expand in business for the sake of his majesty a small and a mediocre life I'm not part of you again I make a decision in the name of Jesus not a carnal decision not a sensual decision a spiritual decision the discipline to submit my mind to knowledge the discipline to submit my mind to learning I will learn I will unlearn I will relearn I will learn I will unlearn I will relearn in the name of Jesus local champion living be far from my life I am ready to attain a global scale in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me you see if you don't rise to a global scale you will spend your life in pain and jealousy and comparison you will never see traffic in the air there is enough room no matter how big the plane is traffic is only when you're on land rise to a level where everyone is a champion this petty jealousy petty fighting petty pointing fingers there is a realm that you can rise above it are you learning make that decision today apostle i have only ten thousand. you don't need clothes go and buy materials make up your mind that there is no fake life don't fake what can be real invest in your mind I have 10,000 I will not pretend I know by faith I have everything in Christ but I will use that 10,000 and buy data and sit down and begin to invest Lord I know that the food my mother did not eat in her youth she will eat it before she sees you Shalika Parukatasia you buy a notebook and you are writing and heaven is supervising the things you are doing sooner or later your current level will run away from you and the new that you are embracing with your transformation will come to you can i tell you success is not what you pursue success is what you attract by your becoming your becoming is greater than your doing learn this business people learn this it is not in doing it is your becoming the people that do know their god they shall be then they shall do our focus is on doing what do i do to prosper no it's what do i become you do from a standpoint of your becoming your mindset is greater than your activity please do not forget this stay and build yourself stay and work on yourself be strict on yourself when you watch people who run the hundred meters dash do you know they don't train them with 100 meters go and ask any coach you can't train somebody to run on 100 meters with 100 meters you can do 150 or 200 so his mind is already fixed on 150 so that even when he reaches 100 he has to stop himself the mind says continue you were not trained with this small a distance so stretch yourself 
so that even when you have crossed the global scale your mind is still pushing you it is when you stand with your contemporaries you see the excellency of your transformation please make up your mind that you will drive shame through diligence drive shame far from your life number three are you learning What is the third decision you must make for an excelling life? Number three, the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment. That is the third destiny decision that you must make here. The decision to discover and fulfill your assignment. Let me hurry up so that we conserve time. John chapter 4 and verse 34. John 4 and verse 34. Jesus said unto them, My meat, that means my satisfaction, comes from doing the will of him that sent me, David's Christian Center, and to finish his work. Dr. Miles Munro, blessed memory, will always say, that the wealthiest place is not the gold mines in south africa and congo drc and all of these places not even the oil mines in nigeria and the middle east that the wealthiest place is the symmetry where dreams were never actualized books that should have been written that were never written and his goal was that he would die empty and even in death he cheated death you must make up your mind that this is the year you will stop living a purposeless life where someone calls you in the morning and says bros what is for today say i'm just sitting down and say can you come and that that's what defines your day purpose driven people almost need prayer to sleep because there is something consuming them there's no distraction many of you got into trouble because of idleness there is a way you can be so busy even the devil will wait for you because your level of focus and determination is such that nothing will bend your focus vision gives your life focus you are busy but not doing many things very busy if you find yourself doing many things it's a sign that you've not found your place in life you should be busy but not doing many things are you learning John chapter 9 and verse 4 John chapter 9 and verse 4 Jesus said unto them he said I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day look up please there is timing to your assignment not every time is convenient imagine a man who discovers purpose at 80 chances are excellent that that man may not do so much because the energy the relationships his colleagues may have been long dead so all the things that support his feeling his assignment are almost not there the night cometh when no man can walk again today we are seated here because pastor kingsley and his dear wife found their place in god's agenda and we are all recipients and beneficiaries of their purposefulness make up your mind that you are not going to go and see him without giving out what he put within you to your generation it was a decision that i made many years ago and i'm grateful to god that i made that decision hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 lo i come in the volume of the book 10 7 hebrews 10 7 lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will someone after this after the church conference you should go and start your own retreat your own three-day retreat lock yourself somewhere and flog it out with destiny someone calls you and tell them please call me after three days there's something i need to sort lord i'm tired of escorting people i'm tired of acting like i know where i'm going because you see your honor is in the discovery of your place a bird does not struggle in the air but if the bird enters sea it will struggle there many of you you are struggling as though god did not call and anoint and bless you because you have not found your place 
the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment i made up my mind that i was not going to spend my life doing so many things that which god has called me to do i will do with all my heart hallelujah all my days on earth i will await the moment that i see you face to face nothing in this world can satisfy jesus you're the cup that will run listen your honor is in your call your prosperity is in your call your relevance is in your call brother sister the spirit of god is speaking to you this is not just a preacher speaking you will live your life in jealousy and pain and anger this man was my classmate this one was this so what he was just lucky when you find your place you can celebrate others because there is security in your place when you see people who are always pointing fingers and always speaking negatively to others such well they are gallivanting around the corridors of destiny they have not found them their place when you see others who celebrate people and can appreciate it is because they have found security in their place and let me tell you this destiny is like a relay that means if God desired that I run with my purpose and hand it to this man and he hands it to this man that means if I refuse to leave purpose I'm punishing these people God is too merciful to allow them suffer for my carelessness he will put a replacement to do that work this is what is happening to many people you can look at someone and say but this is my assignment another person had to take it because for every time you delay there are multitudes suffering and god loves you but he loves them too he will not submit people in pain because you have refused to rise if i did not rise as a man of god god loves me but he will have to raise somebody who will bridge it The refusal to discover and find your place can cost you your bishopric. He said, his bishopric let another take. Ah, God, don't replace me. I'm ever available. Ever available. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say lord you can say through me whoever you want to lift lord you can lift do not live the kind of life where you see someone doing what you know this is your assignment when God finds out that you are careless over your assignment, he will look for someone who is faithfully doing his and has increased capacity. He will honor him and add your assignment to him. This is why you find out that some people start ministry and life not intending to do certain things. But because God searches for available vessels and they are not there, he comes to them and says, can I add this to you? I have seen that your stamina can take this. And you say, Lord, I love you. Bring it on. He will multiply their honor and still grant them that grace. Someone can start the ministry as an evangelist. But the prophet that God desired to raise is careless, not serious. When he should be born again, he's not born again. Filled with the Holy Spirit, he's still arguing about the Holy Spirit. When will you start prophesying to people? God will raise that evangelist who is available. The evangelist is going through the discipline of a prophet. God will add that prophetic to that man. You find out for five years he started with evangelism. But right now he has switched even to the prophetic. Because God intends for his agenda to advance. And if you become an interruption to his agenda, believe me, he loves you. But he will find the replacement. This is one thing I know about God. 
when you know you will be serious with God there is nobody who is indispensable no sir no sir don't say God lacks men there are men who don't make the mistake of Elijah to say I'm the only one there are 7,000 others David Christian Center, if God has given you the privilege to be a head of department, to lead a unit, do not ever let it get to you that I am the only one. It is just by meritocracy. No, sir. Because God can pick ordinary people and place something on their lives and grant them the grace to excel. Are we learning? Very quickly. The next decision that you have to make is the decision... To be healthy and to be physically strong you will think this is a simple decision till you die decision to be healthy and to be physically strong many of you who have listened to my teachings you've heard me make a confession there pastor that a time came during my retreat usually I examine myself against these benchmarks and for three years in a row I found out that the worst performing area in my life was my health I was preaching the gospel healing the sick casting out demons but the Lord began to caution me if you need to live long make sure you pay attention to this body and I made up my mind that every time I see death in the pot, I drive it away. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 19 and 20, just right for reference, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, that your body does not belong to you, he says. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? And he says to glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's carelessness over your health is sin it took a lot for that body to arrive remember it took a lot for that body to arrive the moment you are careless with your body just look at a barren woman who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb then you respect the gift of a body that God gave you let me tell you this based on the law of territory the only legitimate access you have to this realm is when you have a body no matter what is what is fine with your spirit if there is no body you cannot function here so satan's assignment among the many strategies to destroy you is to cause your body to so deteriorate that your spirit can no longer exist there then it will leave that's why God anointed doctors. That's why God gave the healing anointed. These are all efforts to preserve your body. Make that decision. Don't be careless with your body. Don't be careless with your health. Pay attention to it for the sake of the destinies that depend on you. Why are demon spirits illegal on earth? Because they don't have bodies even the son of god as the word when he needed to come into this domain the holy ghost had to walk carefully with a woman if mary refused to donate her womb he would have had to go to another virgin to now talk to her the same thing zechariah asked was the same thing mary asked god punished zechariah and left mary mary said how shall these things be you thought you would now say okay you are joking with me he had to explain the power of the highest will come on you and then you will now be pregnant and that which will come from you and all of that and she now said be it unto me that's how jesus arrived every time you are tempted to be careless with your body think of a family trusting god for the gift of a child then you will know that the body is a very expensive thing if you lose it another one cannot come i science has not perfected transferring spirits from one body to the other i'm not sure that has been done that a dead healthy body they now look for a, a, a an alive person who is almost dying and now transfer the spirits so i want you to make up your mind that you will be healthy there are many people 25 30 35 you see them and you say guess and people say 51 you say god god forbid how can you say i'm 51 
old wrinkled talking you are not clear you are not smart you are not alive you go for a job interview they tell you to go out because they suspect you are already no 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 make up your mind that in the name of jesus i will be healthy say it say in the name of jesus i make a decision that i'll be healthy go and start in that area with results what is making you i am you are older than me but you are looking fresher than me what is the secret and he says sit down take notes and go and do likewise please be healthy do you know especially for those of us who are men of god statistics has shown that most men of god who work in the apostolic the prophetic the ministry of signs and wonders they almost don't cross 80 because there is something the anointing does to your physical body you know that by the time you stand under it's like holding a high tension wire for a long time every day for a long time your body there is a skill to preserving the health of that body under the influence of intense glory way of interpreting prosperity just because you suffered growing up you suffered things did not work you knocked on doors they didn't open when there is a psychological revenge mission so you get back and believe by punishing yourself like that you are appeasing your past hallelujah and then some of us the discipline to see food and leave it do you know listen do you know gluttony is a spirit anything you have must finish before you rest it's a spirit you can discipline yourself believe me when i tell you this you can't do much with god and with destiny if you don't have control over food as great people most people hate january because usually most whether in your prayer group or in a church there's some kind of fasting there are people who don't have personal fasts in a month ah in africa please repent please repent in the name of jesus you need strength and capacity especially if you're a man of god here you're a priest you're a father the bible gives us a medical advice that if you don't plan to walk don't eat it's an advice he who does not walk should not eat it's an advice that the moment you keep piling food without walking you are dying so go back home and discipline yourself and trust god for grace